Beautiful timing. Over tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Home. Ready to take the Bring it home, home baby. <laughs> Where's your hospital? Oh, this is, is going to be some private stuff going on here, George. Let's try to cut that in. <laughs> what was that, Alex? I missed it. We like to, uh, Jessica was actually born in this hospital over here, so Which we one? do a little, a little private shooting. Okay. Feeling your age. Are we on schedule? I think we're early. We're walking fast. We're getting early, eh? Where is it? How far? Right here. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is all, welcome to Timmins. That's what this is all about. Thank you. This is about being in this yeah, great exactly. city with the heart of gold. That's We're happy what, to have you here. That's what I hear. No, it's, it's true. Is that enough? As long as everything you've heard is good. It's so far okay. it's been true. <laughs> and there's a Chinese proverb that I think is very, very appropriate for you. And it's that every great journey start, starts with a single step. And you have started this journey, and it is a great journey, and you're helping 4,000 people that are on waiting lists in Canada for organ transplant. And you're bringing attention to that and the courage that you've shown in uh, the rest of us. I'm glad to see that my son's grade six class from the best school in the city of Tennessee <laughs> is here today and, uh, and had the opportunity to meet you and uh, be a part of your great journey and see what, um, how important it is for each of us to show courage and, uh, and and find that strength to take that first step. You're a great role model, and uh, we wish you all the best. I should have uh, uh, given this to you before you started your walking <laughs> Well, and, and I think that'll be the okay size, and it says Timmins on it. And uh, you can wear that on the rest of your journey because it doesn't seem to be warming up outside. That's right. So uh, again, we're just so happy to have you here in the city Timmins. I'd also like to introduce Senator Isabel Finnerty with uh, the Federal Senate. You know, she's uh, our senator, and, uh, and we're not going to let go of her ever. And uh, it was nice that she was in Timmins today and wanted to And also a uh, little um, note that uh, my grandson just had a kidney transplant for December the 23rd. And those organ donations are going to be alive today. There you go. And Mr. Trombley, we certainly support uh, all of your efforts. And would you have a few words that you'd like to share with everybody? Oh, let's work for it. 
And, you know, by the grace of God that, you know, a family was courageous enough to, to, to say yes when they were approached. And also they were uh, courageous enough with their decision to not just save my life, but five others. So that's six people that got saved as a result of this one decision. It is an extremely important decision and one that we're trying to bring much, even much more attention than we already have. I think this issue should be right in the top five when it comes to priorities in, in, our, in our government. Uh, 160 people are going to probably pass away this year. And that's been the statistic year after year. The waiting lists are, are growing bigger and bigger. Yet we're still suffering with the shortage. Uh, this is a very important message that we have to bring to everyone. That's the first part. The second part is we have to look at some reform in our system because it, it fails us in two ways. Uh, we are asked right now to make this uh, decision, but we need to, to share this wish with our family because they're going to be approached to make the final decision. Now, the problem with that is that when they're approached, it's, they're in a state of shock and grief. And it is terribly difficult for them at that moment to say yes. And many times it's, it's happened where they couldn't say yes. And afterwards, they lived with a, a lot of regret and, and, and anger because they missed out on an opportunity. And they would have said yes beforehand, and they would have said yes afterwards. But it's a very difficult time to approach somebody. You can never guarantee that you're going to be ready at that moment you know, being in a state of shock. Uh, the other thing is, is what we've been finding out, and I've been talking to millions of Canadians uh, across 500 cities, uh, is that Canadians are good people, and they do have a desire to donate their organs. As a matter of fact, what I found out, and all the other statistics that have been done in Canada, is that we have over 90% of Canadians that are willing and have a desire to donate their organs. Yet, we're still suffering with this tremendous shortage. The problem there is, is that some Canadians don't get around to signing that card and sharing the wish with their family before their time comes. So we have a lot of organs that have gone to waste needlessly. You know, people that have wanted to have donated their organs. So what we're trying to do uh, is reform the system. We want to try and make the decision legal binding so the president is not legal binding. And we want to create a registry. We want to look at other countries that are doing really well in this, in this area, such as Spain. They have three times the, the amount of uh, organ donations that, that we have. And they, they've had that rate for the last 20 years. And people on their waiting list are not waiting desperately. They're waiting most of them will receive organs. We can do the same in our country. And that's why we live in a great country. Because we, we have a country where we can have any change that can better our society. And if this is the change that we need to better our society, and I'm sure that with a little more work, that we will get around to doing that. At present, the system that we have been using has not been working. And we need to fix it. That's going to be the second part of my uh, journey after I finish this, is I, I'm going to start doing whatever I can, and I'm determined to see our, our, our system get better. Um, I want to also take this opportunity to acknowledge uh, Dave and Source for Support. While I was walking to BC, uh, I was on my fourth pair of running shoes, and they were worn and torn, and I had infected feet. And uh, I was approaching Castle Guard, BC, and the news got out that I was uh, approaching with infected feet. And there was a gentleman there that presented me with a new pair of shoes at the press conference. And he told me he was the chairman of Source for Sports. And he said he was really interested in helping me out in the rest of my campaign. 
Source for Sports has 150 stores across Canada, and since that day, we've been getting tremendous help in every community where there's a Source for Sports store. And, and it's because of the help that we're getting from Source for Sports that we've been able to make it this far. Uh, so I know Dave was too humble to, to mention that, but I really wanted to say thank you to you and everybody else at Source for Sports for helping out. Thank you. I just want to veto everybody else that the uh, mayor thanks the police force, for once again for coming out, and uh, you know yeah. the school for coming out. Uh, this is what we always say: together we can all save lives. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there is a need for people to be made aware of to get issue and organ donation. I, uh, for myself, I've been a volunteer with the Canadian National Institute for the Blind for the past 36 years. And let me tell you, I've seen the result of just a cornea transplant, where the one time one grandmother who had never seen her children or grandchildren got a cornea transplant, and then she said that was the best Christmas gift that she ever had. And we all know our young friend Eve uh, Joannis from Simmons here, who has uh, recently received a lung uh, transplant, and, uh, and Eve is uh, definitely grateful to him as, uh, as George here. And the grand, uh, your grandson was it? Mm -hmm. That received a kidney uh, or liver transplant, wasn't it? Kidney. kidney transplant. So it just goes to show you that we have to create that awareness. And it doesn't mean to say that, uh, you know, uh, when we pass away, uh, everything is, uh, is gone. No, because if we do give some of our organs, others, as George has mentioned, can benefit from that and get a, 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 better, a better life out of it. The cutie case was uh, patented by myself in 1989 out of the city of Simmons, but it seems that you're never a prophet in your own city. And of course, I appreciate George when he comes around because it gives me another, another opening to, to really promote the cutie case uh, project. It is, uh, it is uh, very encouraged by the Knights of Columbus to, to do this, but they don't take it on as a project itself. So uh, as, uh, as a Knights of Columbus myself, I do take the opportunity to do that every once in a while. <coughs> in any case, what George has said is that you sign a card, and on our card, we also have the next of kin. My wife has already signed her name to my tissue and organ uh, donation. So this is, this is binding because her, 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 her signature is on this card here. And she is, is, she is uh, my next of kin. She definitely has the authority to say, to change her mind, but any of my other children should be able to because she has signed them. And uh, with this, uh, George is going to be distributing uh, organ and uh, tissue uh, uh, cubic case uh, kits at the Simmons Square tomorrow, and uh, I'm sure that uh, he's going to get the message across. So George, once again, thank you for coming to our city, and uh, we just want to wish you well in all your endeavors, and I'm sure that uh, we'll be hearing from you uh, again. Okay, well, thank you. We have some juice. I may not have enough, but we have lots of glasses, so you can put them up and share in case you're kind of thirsty. Sharing. And sharing, the, this class knows how to share. There's, there's three students in this class that have put together a birthday party for themselves because their birthdays are all within hours of each other. <laughs> I think that's the ultimate in sharing, so we're really proud of this class all the time. So um, I'll let you, uh, perhaps, Dean, you can help out your class and, and the, the Renee, <laughs> if you can help us out here. Yeah, you good. Or you I can't. How do you do this? Come on, get closer to her. She's beautiful, George. Closer. Give her a kiss. Well, actually, that'd be pretty fun. Right up to her. Right? Yeah. Offer her about her. We're going to give Shania an email, see if she wants to donate it from time to time. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, it's 100 years. Uh, we're going to get her on board, please. Thanks. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. 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 That's a good id